Hey guys, I'm the Burke and I do things. And in today's video, we're going to do my monthly makeup roulette. If you're not familiar with this video, basically what I do is I go through my inventory from the last month and I tell you in my collection what categories have gone up in product, what have gone down. And all the meanwhile, we let a number generator choose a full face of makeup. It's both fun and scary at the same time. It literally is Halloween. Some months we get some good looks. Some months we get some not so good looks. So it's always a little scary at this point for me because I don't know what's about to happen. But if you guys are interested in seeing my inventory updates and a full face of randomly generated makeup, then keep on watching. Let's go. So I always start with like the bronzer, highlight, and blush category. On my spreadsheet, I have that broken up into single bronzers, single blushes, single highlights, and face palettes. So I'll go over the inventory changes in September. And then the first thing I'll do is I'll let the number generator choose between one single products or two, a face palette. So let's get started. In September, I had no changes with bronzers, no changes with blushes, no changes with highlights, but I did get one new face palette. And like I said, we're gonna start with between the numbers one and two and we got number one. So we are going to pick individuals. So for bronzers, I have 35 and we got number 35. <laughs> Oh, fun. For blushes, I have 58 and we got number 39. Ooh, what an interesting um, theme we have going on already. And then for highlights, I have 40. We got number 27. Well, that is very interesting. We got like a theme with those face products. So the next category is going to be eyeshadow. So I have this broken up into Eyeshadow palettes, so I'll tell you my change in eyeshadow palettes. I'll also tell you about that in terms of single eyeshadows, which include all my singles and every single pan in my actual palettes. So for palettes, I did get one new palette in September. And as far as single actual shadows go, I increased by 10, but got rid of one. So similar to the last category, I will choose between one and two, either individual eyeshadow palette or five singles randomly generated. <laughs> okay, so we got one so we are working with one palette this month so i have a total of 56 and we got number 50. Ooh, this one's like a little bit new i haven't used this much on my channel i think maybe i've only used it once on my channel okay the next category is foundation and for foundation i got two new in september but also used up one and now i have 66. oh and i just i didn't even look at which one i drew yet i do want to say if i get one that's self tanned I'm just redrawing because I'm too pregnant to care about self-tanning. So I land on number four, which I feel like we could make that work. It's not the most <laughs> accurate color match for us, but I haven't used it in a while and <laughs> I think we can make it work today, hopefully. The next category has both a mixture of eye primers and lash glue. So if we land on a lash glue, I'm just gonna redraw but I did not have any change in this category this last month and I have a total of 13 items in this category. And I landed on five, which is not, which is glue. Okay, let's try again. 11, you know, we can use that product, but we're still gonna have to pick something else in addition to it. I'm sorry, this is like very cryptic right now, but. 12, there we go. We can use that as our eyeshadow primer. That is actually in my shop, my stash, if you have been paying attention. Okay, so for concealers in September, I did get two new concealers. So now I have a total of 30 and I have number 22 here. Ooh, interesting, interesting. This one is a little bit newer in my collection and I actually recently reviewed this on my channel. So I guess I'll get to show you it in action. <laughs> All right, for setting sprays, I did finish up one in September and now I have 37. We got number 13. This is one I have not used in a long time. <laughs> For brow products in September, I had no change. So I'll kind of see what we land on to decide if we want to use multiple products or not. So right now I have a total of 57 brow products. We landed on 32, which is a brow pencil. So what I can do is I can roll and try to get us a brow gel as well. 42 is a pencil. 32 is literally what we just rolled. One is a brow gel, so let's do that. Uh, for eyeliners, in September I got one new eyeliner and finished up two, so I now have a total of 54, and we got number three. Interesting, I think we got this one a couple months ago in the roulette. 
Okay, now for face powders. I did finish up one in September, so now I have 36. And we got number five. Okie dokie. I wonder, because that's a pressed powder, should we try to roll for a, a loose powder too? Why not, why not? 26? Nope. 14? Also no. <laughs> 34? Nope, these are all not loose. 32. There we go, that's a loose powder. Only a couple categories left. So for primers in September, I actually finished up two primers and now I have 42. We got number eight. Interesting choice. I have a lot to say about this one. Okay, so for lips, I do have the categories broken up into four, lipsticks, liquid lipsticks, lip glosses, and lip liners. So I am gonna choose between one, two, three, and four, but I'll tell you the changes in September 1st. Lipsticks, I got three new lipsticks in September. Liquid lipsticks, no change. Lip gloss, no change. And lip liner, no change. So let's first choose between one and four. Two is a liquid lipstick. So for liquid lipsticks, I have 101. We got 18, I approve. Then the last category we have is mascara. In September, I did finish up two mascaras. I now have a total of 24 to choose from. We landed on number 24 which is a new product. So we will be trying one new product today in this video, which will be exciting. So let me go and grab all this makeup and you'll see what we're gonna do. Okay, so I have everything in front of me and, okay, let's start with the primer and then I'll kind of explain where this went really interesting. So for a primer, I did land on number eight, which is my Illa Masca Hydra Veil. This is actually currently in my shop, my stash. So I've been using it quite a bit the last couple weeks and it's so interesting. So I just literally learned that this actually comes off and you can scoop the product out, which I had no idea about. It's literally like this weird jelly consistency. I just feel like it's a little extra for a hydrating primer. That's like really what I think about it, but you like literally scoop, you like scoop it out. Like I feel like you can see the missing spot, but it will reform, it always reforms. I don't know, it just, it's a lot for a basic hydrating primer. I mean, it basically feels like I'm putting on like a gel moisturizer onto my face when I use this. I don't really have a problem with the formula. I just feel like it's a little extra, the packaging and all. Okay, so the interesting thing that kind of happened is that we got all like cream and liquid products. Besides like the actual setting powder and the eyeshadow, everything is cream. So I'm going to do this in the order that makes the most sense for me to use these products. So I will start with the foundation. We landed on number four, which is a sample from Sephora. It's a little sample. It is the Hourglass Vanish Stick Foundation. I have this in the shade Shell, which I feel like we can make it work. I can't tell you less time I use this, but we're gonna try it. Yeah, it's like a tiny bit darker, I guess, than I would want. I don't know if I should use a brush or a sponge. Let's start with a brush and see what it looks like. Yeah, it's not the best shade match. To be honest, I just never think to reach for this little sample. I usually forget I have it. I should probably put it in a shot my stash and try to finish it up. I mean, I feel like it looks okay. I just think it looks a little, I don't know. Like, I don't think it looks that great on my skin. I know this is a very popular foundation though. Oh, and I am using my BK 106 brush to blend this out. I just feel like, hmm, maybe I should use a sponge. Cause I feel like it's just tugging. I also have my BK Beauty sponge here. Maybe it would blend better with the moisture. Okay, that is already looking better. Good to know. It is not sticking on my nose. You guys have this foundation what has your experience been i feel like it's a very polarizing foundation it's either people love it or they hate it i mean i would say it looks okay it's not amazing me in any way i would just say that looks okay <laughs> okay the next product is one of the products i landed on when i was looking for an eyeshadow primer but it was a different kind of primer i landed on i was like let's use it it's the becca under eye corrector primer i've been using the heck out of this lately like I, the last two months I've had more lightweight concealers in my shop, my stash, and I feel like just being able to tap this out in the inner corner has been such a help with using more lightweight concealers because it really does just help get rid of that little bit of darkness that I am trying to get rid of. Now, when I do do a lot of cream products, I usually use my cream bronzer before my concealer, so we will go in with that. I did land on number 35, and that is my Charlotte Tilbury Contour Wand. I just talked about this in was it Friday's video with my my top 10 favorites from Sephora? So you get to see it in action. It is so messy though, which is annoying. 
but I will go in with the brush I was using and blend this out. Since we're only using uh, cream cheap products today, I'm gonna make sure that everything looks really good because we're gonna wind up setting it all in place anyway. Now I'll go in with the concealer, which the concealer we landed on, we definitely would not have needed the under eye corrector because it is a full coverage concealer. I landed on number 22, which is the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Illumination Concealer. I have this in the shade light medium, so hopefully it works with this uh, foundation. I'm going to go in with the tiniest amount like literally that's it for both eyes it is so thick and full coverage i'm gonna tap it under there it has a lot of illumination i'm not crazy about how illuminating it is i think i would much rather try the original but i'm going to make sure it's all under there and then i will go in with the sponge just to press it in and even maybe hopefully take away a little bit of the product it is full coverage, like it is no joke. But can you tell like how much it makes your under eyes shiny? Like that's, that's why I'm not a crazy fan about it. Now I'm gonna go in with the highlighter before the blush. So I landed on a liquid highlighter. I landed on number 27, which is from Cover FX. And this is their custom enhancer drops in the shade Moonlight. I have a little sample of it. We've gotten quite a few samples in this video. This is really pretty, but you need to go in so lightly. So I'm actually gonna put it, oh, like I put way too much on the back of my hand. So <laughs> that's not all getting used, but I'm just gonna, oh dear, lightly put some here and then take the sponge and blend it like it's like metallic we do not need a lot of this and then the same thing on this side like look i took way too much lightly tap it i don't think i'm going to use the rest i'm just going to wipe it off but i mean like the reason i went on and with this one first is in hopes that the blush will also like blend in and kind of settle it out a little for blush, I landed on 39, which is from e.l.f., and this is their cream blush in the shade Soft Beach. This has very sadly been discontinued, and I really like this cream blush, so that's a sad, that's sad for me. But I'm hoping to be able to diffuse a little bit of what we've got going on with that highlight by putting some blush over it. I like blushes like this because I find they're so easy to use. You can just tap your sponge right in and then blend it out on your face. I mean, hopefully that's enough color and everything to get us through being powdered and everything. Now for an eye primer, I did land on number 12, which is in my Shop My Stash, it's my Pretty Vulgar eye, eye Primer. I don't have a ton of eye primers to choose from, so there's not much of a variety when it comes to this category. But I will prime my eyes a bit. And now we can finally go in with our first powder, the Loose Setting Powder. So for a loose powder, I land on number 32, which is my e.l.f. Halo Glow Setting Powder. I've definitely used this quite a bit recently on my channel, but it is one of my favorites. And I'm gonna use my Luxie 660 brush. This is really nice for like under the eyes. It's called a precision foundation brush, but I've never used it for that. But especially with this concealer being so illuminating, like I really like to set it because I feel like it makes such a difference, like the less <laughs> shine under the eyes. I'm just gonna set down in this area. I do really like this powder because it does not make me look dry. So I will always gladly use it. Now let's use our press powder. And that is from Alme. We landed on number five, which is their press powder. I have this in the shade light. Hopefully that'll work. I'm gonna go in with this. I don't actually know what this brush is called from Moda. It came in a set from that we got in BoxyCharm, I guess last year. And I'm just gonna lightly set the face. We have a very glowy setting spray, so I'm okay if we go in a little too much with the powder right now. Let's do brows. So I landed on the number 32 brow pencil, and that's from e.l.f., and this is just their really cheap, affordable pencil. I have this in the shade taupe. Not my favorite shade match. <laughs> also not my favorite brow pencil because the pencil is a little bit thicker than I prefer, but this is what the cards dealt us. Typically, I like something a little darker than this one. Like this color would be more of a companion brow pencil for something that was maybe too dark. Okay, not my favorite brows, but whatever. For a brow gel, we landed on number one, which is the Benefit 24 Hour Brow Setter. I've had this forever and it never seems to <laughs> run out of product. I like this. It's not my favorite. I still love Anastasia's better, but it's not bad. Now we can get into eyeshadow. So I said I landed on a palette I think I've only used one time on my channel. And that is number 50, which is from the Lip Bar. And this is their Fairy Princess eyeshadow palette. It does have four shades in it. And I think, because we did land on a liquid liner, I think I'm going to focus on these two shades today. Like a transition shade and maybe a lid shade with a wing liner. That's what I'm feeling. 
These are okay. I won't say these are the most amazing eyeshadows I've ever used in my life because I would be lying. I'm going in with a BH Cosmetics number nine brush, but they're they're okay. You can get it at the drugstore. I bought this from Target online. I don't know if they actually have the lip bar in store at my Target. There are definitely other products from the lip bar I'm interested in trying. I would just say this palette is okay. It's not really an all-time fave. Okay, I'm just gonna go in with my finger in the, the like mauvey shade. Tap it. Now I'm gonna take this Luxe 207 brush and blend those two shades together. I mean, it's definitely gonna be a very simple eye look, but <laughs> there's really so much I could have done with this. And I also kind of wanted something that I was gonna be able to like match with the lip color we got and kind of my shirt. If you are wondering about my shirt, this is from ASOS Maternity, but I got it from ThreadUp. Okay, I think that's all I'm gonna do for the eyes, at least as far as eyeshadow goes, because of the liquid liner. Kinda wanna use this brush just to diffuse the edges. Is anything remaining on it? Crap. Like I said, like it it kind of it's okay. It's it's definitely a drugstore eyeshadow palette. Alright, the liquid liner I landed on is number three, which is from CoverGirl. And this is I think just called their liquid liner. I think it's a black shade I have. It's one of these kind. I need a lot of concentration right now. A lot. So I'm gonna concentrate. Okay. We're as good as we're gonna get. Honestly, like if this was me doing my makeup regularly i would definitely use a black like gel liner the tight line of it to make it a little bit more crisp looking but for now that's as good as we're getting with this i don't remember this having the best longevity either <laughs> although i did just order a affordable eyeliner that claims to be waterproof and i think it's cheaper than my favorite waterproof eyeliner so we're gonna test that someday setting spray oh setting spray on top of this liquid liner is scaring me all right I did land on number 13, which is the Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. I am going to go so lightly with this because this is like oil in a bottle. Okay, hopefully I shot from far enough away where it did not just destroy our makeup. I'm gonna press everything in. I really do feel like we lost a lot of the cream products. I feel like my face ate them. Should I add more blush? I should probably. I will say this blush shade of peach does not really go with our mauve eye, but I feel like we were losing some of our color. Just tap over it a bit. Okay, I feel like that's a little better. So I landed on liquid lipstick number 18, which is Ofra Pasadena. This is actually the first liquid lipstick color I ever fall, fell in love with from Ofra, so nostalgia. I feel like the color goes with the eyes too. I love Oprah liquid lips. Talk about them all the time. Last thing is a brand new mascara. I got this sample from the from Sephora. It's the new Huda Beauty mascara, which has two ends. You have a volume end and a curl end. So I don't actually know which one to use first. It looks like volume. So this is what it comes in. Each side has its own foil packet. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna write on this volume and then curl and length. So I don't have to keep this freaking cardboard packaging. All right, so I'm gonna go on volume first. So this is what the wand looks like. Here we go. I mean, I will definitely say that gave volume pretty quickly. Okay, I have no idea how much product is in this weird foil packet, but now I'm gonna go in with curl and length, which kind of has more of like a benefit roller lash kind of vibe. Okay, actually, this is pretty good. I'm pretty picky about mascaras, so I hope this doesn't flake or smudge. Actually, I feel like this did a pretty good job with my temperamental eyelashes. Hey, I'm impressed. I'm not always impressed off the bat with a mascara, so not too bad. But yeah, there you go. Honestly, if I was in charge right now and not the number generator, I would definitely go in with powder, bronzer, and blush to kind of bring more definition around the face because... I feel like it would improve the look a bit, but we definitely did not get sabotaged this month. I feel like this is a very wearable look, especially for me. The uh, the the Tatcha spray definitely gives a lot more do than even I like. Like I just feel like very shiny right now. But overall, not the worst. Definitely let me know what you think of this month in the comments. And as usual, thanks for stopping by my channel. If you're new here, click the subscribe button and ring that bell for notifications. I have my Twitter and my Instagram down below. Give them a follow. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.